The Buffalo Common Council is hosting its first winter preparedness event this Monday, and it's a part of a series. It's happening at the Lincoln Community Center in Buffalo from 5.30 to 7.30 in Councilman Mitch Nowakowski's district. He is here now to talk more about it. Mitch, this is Buffalo being winter prepared is so crucial. Tell us about this series. Yeah, so if you're living in the city of Buffalo, you know uh, if you're watching the news, we can go from sunshine to uh, rain to then a blizzard really quick. And so we need to get prepared. So the first is, is we have over 30 participating vendors from National Fuel, Wegmans, you name it, um, Highmark, people are coming in uh, to make sure that we're all prepared as a community. So these kits that you can make yourself of, and design it basically to your needs. If you need something for your car, if you need something for your elderly parent, if you need something for your kid, um, if they go to school or are stuck somewhere, um, you could basically tailor it to your needs. Because um, we're learning a lot, you know, after post blizzard and these extreme weather events that we just have to be prepared and that's how we stay safe. Um, but there's going to be a multitude of things there and especially getting the flu shots um, and COVID shots. Um, so we're really encouraging people to sign up so that people, we know how much to accommodate for moving forward. So people are building these kits. You're asking one per household when people show up to this. Tell me about some of the things people should have available to them, maybe at their house or in their car that you're going to provide at these. And that's a good question because I'm always, you know, thinking, you know, post blizzard, like emergency response for the most vulnerable and the most impact. To me, you could get stuck in your car in an extreme weather event. So making sure that you have flashlights, that you have warmers, uh, that you have blankets, so that if you ever catch yourself in, not in your house, in an emergency, that you can respond. Um, and also, we're going to have a good amount of tips of uh, what to pay attention for. Like, what does a shelter in place mean? And when that happens, you know, who do you call? Um, what are the proper protocols uh, to stay where you are and to shelter in place uh, and what to look for in our community as we experience uh, extreme weather is a, is a really is a part of life now. The series was started last year. What was some of the response that you gathered throughout all the different uh, meetings? Uh, from what I learned from going to mine was what exactly people needed and, and it seemed that people just didn't have access to uh, you know, more, more kits that we're responding to, like, you know, blankets and um, flashlights that are portable um, and things that could be brought with them instead of just granting, uh, grabbing random items throughout your house and putting them in a bag and hoping that that's what you need. Um, but ultimately know that the resources that are out there, like if you need help with HEAP, um, if you need help, uh, you know, with uh, not only getting access to medication, but, um, you know, like the flu shot this year is really important to get because when you do get the flu shot, it also helps uh, caretakers make sure that they don't transfer, uh, you know, to transfer a deadly flu to someone who is living with a chronic condition or a senior. Over 40 of our neighbors died in that horrible blizzard a couple years ago. This is one of those things that came from that. Seems like the city's taking this more seriously. What else can we see ahead of a major snowstorm in our future? You're going to start seeing that that our emergency shelters will be up and running faster, quicker, and also be able to accommodate those that are there. Um, the biggest thing is really transport to make sure that if people's, uh, you know, if, if their heat goes out or their electricity goes out, that we can transport them there and that we're ready to, to operate uh, for a few days. Um, but ultimately, you know, I think that, you know, as Buffalonians, when we see alert, we're desensitized to it. Mm -hmm. So we're like, we will be fine. We won't. You have to adhere to all protocols. Um, you know, we, we, you know, oftentimes we think emergency management is just for our Florida friends that are dealing with extreme weather. We deal with it here, too. Um, so it's always to be better safe than sorry. So for all the residents out there who want to go to the winter preparedness event, give us all the details and then where they can find if they can't make it to that one, the future ones. Yes, yeah, so there's a whole list. Every district will have it. So please go to buffalony.gov backslash council winter preparedness um, and you'll be able to sign up and see what locations closest to you. All right, Councilman, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. This is very important information here.